Alrighty guys, took this to work with me today. I was at the shop with the welder and welded around here. You can tell I welded it uh, in the up position because it melted melted down and undercut, which was actually pretty good, I think. So, uh, yeah. She's laid in there and uh, I'm going to put it back together. I got a little bit of slag to chip off. I got on the teeth. And then at that point, I'm going to put her back together and we're going to see what happens, guys. I just got to wait for some snow to try it. Eh, what are you going to do? Alrighty guys, I did end up welding this gear to the center section. I did a video before, and I don't know if you can hear the music in the background or not, so I figured I would shoot this again, but looks like it turned out pretty good, and it's going to be good enough for what it is. I definitely got it really good right there. Uh, most of this I welded like this, so whenever I welded it, the weld was running down, so. But, I believe that worked out pretty good because it... Took the metal from above and put it down into the bottom, which is really where it needed to go. So, I think it worked out okay. So, I'm going to put her back together. I'm going to chip a little bit of, uh, I got a little bit of like slag that fell down on the gear and is stuck to it. So, I'm going to take a chisel and just knock that off. And, I don't think the gear warped or anything. It looks alright looking at it by eye. I don't know what you guys can see. I've just been moving the camera around, but the gear looks okay. So, all I'm going to do is knock the slag out of this thing, and I'm going to stick the gearbox back together and put her back in the blower and wait for some snow again. You know, it'll happen at some point. So, here we go. I'll use some uh, YouTube magic and it'll be back together in the, uh, in the snow blower. Alrighty guys, got her all put together and back in the tractor here. Everything seems to spin and turn freely, so... Now all we gotta do is wait for some snow to try it on. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Other side note I'm going to say is the tubes in these tires would leak down over the course of a week. I've had this snowblower sitting in the shop. Well, I put air in the tires the night I made the video, which was like last Thursday. So tomorrow will be a week that they've had air in them. And I put a little bit of slime in this one that would go low all the time in the tube. And guess what? Still got air in it yet. Normally by now it'd have been flat. So slime does work in tubes, especially if you got a really slow leak, really. Yeah. What are you going to do? I don't like to use slime, but certain applications, why not? would like to try some of the tire jack like One Lonely Farmer has, but, you know, money reasons. So, Okay, so until we get some snow, guys, that'll be it for the, uh, the deluxe snow blower. So, and I get a chance to use this thing, I'll get the camera out and show you guys it working. So, catch everybody in the next one. Later. On to other projects. I'm still working on this thing yet. I got a couple other little things to do to it. The governor shaft seal is leaking. Well, it doesn't even really have a seal, but I'm going to put a an O-ring back here just to try and slow it up and maybe put an O-ring behind here because there's there's nothing really to seal this to the block. So, all right, later, guys.